But uh, we already started, homie. Just to let you know, step up to the mic real quick, Arnan. We're not live today because everybody's watching football. We're gonna we're gonna record this bad boy. Okay. See, I don't know the way. As soon as you say we're recording, people start getting like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wanted to, I wanted to start the the thing recording already because it's a little that way we don't lose any of the conversation, homie. How you been, yeah. player? Good, bro. Yeah, Long time no see, Arnan. Yeah. It's been a minute. It's been a minute, homie. You are still on your on your journey, I see, and I love it. You're you know, you're keeping it positive, still uh, you know, spreading the gospel of the Lord, homie. And, yes, sir. And, and I can respect that, homie. So, you know, how, how you been these last couple of years? I've been good, bro. A lot has happened. Uh, I had another kid. Oh, did you have another baby? Yeah, I got a two year old daughter. I wait. You know? You're doing like the widow is full. Yeah. So That's what's up? What's her name? Uh, Isalia. Isalia. Congratulations, yeah. man. It's a mixture of my name and my wife's, Isaac and Dalia Isalia. All right. That's what's up. Yeah. That's dope, homie. Yeah. So just that, bro. Uh, you know, working all the regular uh, uh, things, you know, of life, you know. Uh, how's, how's anxiety going? How's your anxiety going? You good, it's homie? better. It's a lot better, okay. a lot better. Before it was bad. It gets bad. Yeah, well, it gets I haven't bad. had an episode like before. And remember, people, and people don't understand those ep the episodes, bro. Like you get, you get paranoid of getting paranoid. Yeah, and you don't need. You, you just you get like, like you can't breathe, and you're like, what the hell is going on? You know? Yeah, fool. Now imagine being in jail and not being able to fucking deal with that kind of shit. I thought about that. I was like, man, I'm glad I didn't get none of this in jail. <laughs> imagine that the way. Because I used to be in a, a. I was in high power for like. Three years, right? And we'll be in the court tanks coming back from court, and we're we're shackled up. You know, we had keys and stuff too, right. but but we're in those in the, those rooms. Sometimes they'll forget about you and they'll leave you there for hours. I'm talking about like seven, eight hours, bro. Like way. And uh, they'll forget about you, especially if they don't like you. The cops, they they know who. Oh, who's over there? Oh, Pedroza has me. Oh. Pfft. Leave, leave that dude over there, you know? You got nothing coming. Yeah, you got nothing coming. So, but I, I think back like, damn, imagine I would have had an episode right there. Hey, like, hey, you're all shackled down yeah. for Shepard <laughs> 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 nah, <laughs> homie, but yeah, now, now you're doing your thing, fool, and, and and that's a great thing. What's um, what's like a, uh, one of the like toughest things that, that, that you had to get used to, like leaving the, pretty much leaving the gang life, fool, and, and uh, for me, just the neighborhood, bro. I mean, I, I I love the neighborhood, and that's always been my. It's an addiction too, you know. Absolutely. But that's that's still my family, you know. It's it's it. I'm no longer out there like that, but but uh, I'm still, you know. In, in but you still, you get your fix. That's what that's what yeah. I call it, right? You get your fix. You're still yeah. representing, homie, but in a positive way. Yes, sir. And I I come I come out here a lot, but. Uh, like you said, it's it's like a little phase. I come over here and I'm glad that it's just for a little bit because if, if I lived over here, I'm pretty sure uh, we probably wouldn't even be having this conversation, you know? Yeah, but <laughs> it, it also depends on on the guys that you, you know, surround yeah. yourself around. Yeah. Like yesterday when I when I went to the homies 50th birthday, you know, it, it's a bunch of the homies that I've known since the 80s. And all these fools, they're all working. They're all doing their thing. Yeah. And, but they were all about it at one point. But now it's like we get together and, and it's dope, bro. You get to kick it, chill with the homies. You know, their yeah. wives are there. Our, all our wives know each other. So that's that's where you get your fix in the hood. Yeah. But I'm not going to go to the block and be like, hey, fool, let's go drink some pizza in the alley, homie. Yeah. Nah, nah. <laughs> that should get you caught up. <laughs> yeah. You know? it, yeah, it will. I mean, it, it. yeah, you got to be wise. You know, you got to be wise and, and uh Sometimes you can get a little loose with it. I'm not going to yeah, front, course, you know, but, but like I said, you, you got to, for me, it's, it's good because I, I don't live, I don't live around here, you know? What's uh like the take uh, of your homies, you know, being the pathway you took to God? Have you ever got anybody like, you know, kind of you rubbed them the wrong way? They rubbed you the wrong way because of it where you felt like, eh. no, I never felt that because I went, <clears throat> I started kind of, you know, my relationship with the Lord when I was busted fighting right. that, fighting the case. You're right. For those of you guys who don't know, you could go. It's one of the first interviews this yeah, guy has. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but, uh, um, you know, I, I I never said I was a Christian or none of that. I, I was still myself, you know. I was still who I was and, and representing myself, my neighborhood. Right. And when I got out, I made that transition. So my real my real homeboys, friends, they, they know they, what it they is. They know, you know. How many years were you in there fighting that case? That, uh, five uh, years. Jeez, in the county, huh? Yeah, county, yeah. Well, I think that's what it is. It, with you, uh, like, it wasn't where, you know, you went in. Because a lot of people hide behind that, and, yeah. and it has a bad stigma. Yes. Um, matter of fact, somebody popped into my mind. Uh, there's been somebody that 
uh, uh, you know, we won't say no names, but there's people even out here that have used that to they've gotten maybe in some trouble. You know what I mean? Right. And and they want to use that. And it's cool. Like the Lord, he receives everybody. But you could see if they're real about it, too. And it's like, man, I, I me, me personally, I, I feel like it gives us a bad name because because now, nah, man, it's, it's it's a personal thing. It's a personal thing between you and the Lord. But but if you just use that as an excuse when you get in trouble, uh-huh. like, nah, like that. Well, well, you can see a lot of that. It's disingenuine when somebody's caught up in some BS and all of a sudden, you know, uh, ahora viene Dios and, you know, God's yeah. going to forgive me. Right. Well, the reason you went to God is because yeah. you got so into this. The, the, at the same time, yeah, I, the Lord uses uh, stuff like that to kind of push you towards him. Right. Right. But uh, I'm pretty sure you know what I mean when, yeah, when, of course. when people do that and that's, that for me it's like it shows it, it shows that that you're not really about that you know and, and uh well you know? I, not so much now because now you got guys like you and i know a lot of uh, homies that are in like the victory outreach and i've seen the transition of how a lot of these guys like cold-blooded fools like on yeah. some major stuff i'm like yourself bro and have you see them and you see the the change not just in their behavior but their, their whole persona bro it's mm-hmm. like you it, to when i see a guys like that that i've known for years that i'll call them like and not in a disrespectful way but straight dirtbag straight motherfuckers yeah. that just weren't caring homie you know all in that mix for yeah. years and then after i've seen him like hey so-and-so is oh, really he's going to church all that mm-hmm. then you see him they're like a whole different person fool hey yeah. what's up my brother with the and you could you could tell that glow in them yeah. is real and that's why i've seen him for like years now like oh this fool's really changed yeah. homie and i'm like and and that, that's dope um especially like with like i said with the victory outreach that's the ones i work with a lot out here and homie i've seen the change that those guys are doing for every single one of those men and what people don't see a lot of times is you change that man that man is changing his kids future his wife's it future affects everybody it yeah. affects everybody it affects a whole community i homie. came from from victory outreach okay. i went to the, the home when i got out i went straight into a men's home and uh, shout out to Victory Outreach, you know, they, they take in, they're known for bringing in, especially homies, right? gang members, drug addicts, because uh, a lot of times other, uh, I guess, churches, sometimes they don't, they don't know how to uh, deal with something, right. someone like that. Yes. You know, they, they can pray for them and all that, but they, they don't know uh, uh, how to deal with that. So uh, Victory Outreach, they specialize in that yes. you know what i mean and they have these homes and there's a, a a process a structure my wife went through the women's home also okay i right here in eagle rock and then uh you know she, we graduated uh after about a year year and a half and then we got we got uh, uh married got my best man right here oh that's that the best man right there <laughs> yeah that's right oh uh, boy but um yeah bro and it, it ain't it ain't it ain't have it hasn't been like you know everything's just all good like you still go you especially like me, I I get attacked viciously, bro. Like you, you, you know, there's a lot of things that go on in the background that people don't see, it, and it's, it's a war. It's a spiritual war. You know? And when you say you get attacked, uh, you mean by just life itself? You mean by your demons? Like I what? believe, I believe just like there's there's a, a god, there's also a, a devil, Absolutely. and there's there's demons, spirits, and uh, they're on a mission. You know, they're organized, and they're they're a lot smarter than we are. You know, and and we can't see them. So the only way you can fight them is is a uh, is through through prayer, you know, or through God's word, and and uh, and so I in my walk, I've come to know like, hold up. Sometimes it's just you, it's just your flesh, like you right. like you said. But sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's like, hold up, this is there's something else going on here. Absolutely, bro. You know, and so uh, and it happens in everything, marriage. Oh yeah, everything. You bro. know, everything. E- everything. And so you gotta. That's why you gotta be on your toes. You got you gotta stay. You know. We got we got to learn also a lot of patience and uh and swallowing your ego and yeah you know because uh, like with me there's a lot of times that I want to fire back on people and I want to be course, like yeah. f you f and then I'm not like nah bro why am I why am I gonna waste that energy exactly. man but it but it also takes for you to make those mistakes to figure out yeah. 
I don't want to keep doing this, bro, because you're not going to win that. Yeah. It's, it's, I'm it's, sure you've done that here. Uh, we've seen that oh, yes. evolvement in you, you know? <laughs> you know this, fool. And, and that's why I speak from because people will be like, oh, well, Gil's just on his fake positive. No, nah, listen, homie. If I want to get negative, it's very easy to get negative. Negativity is very easy, but it, it, it brings like a shadow on the, easy, whole, yeah. on the whole thing. And it's bro. a learning process, too. You it, go and you, you learn and you got to... You know, learn from it. But it, it's also, I mean, what I see also like in, in the YouTube world, right? It's almost like you see how gangs have have continued to just uh, to what's the word I'm looking for? Not so much prosper, but just continue to grow and continue to hate. You know, like how we have different YouTube people, yeah. like people that say I've had different issues with. I've let go of those issues from years ago, homie. And there's people that are just stuck on same old, same old, well, same old. I believe because it's all, in, in one sense, it's pretty much all they know. It's all it's all we know, right? We were, and so they want to, I guess, bring that into the the YouTube world. But I, me, this is just my opinion. No disrespect toward, towards anybody, but a lot of that stuff, considering how we are, how we were raised, and the the structure that we got, right? I kind of see it like they should already know better than to be doing that. On on, yeah, on the airway, it's crazy. So to me, it's like I don't know. But like, that, that's what I would say. That's what I would say. I'll be like, you know, if I had a, a the, the the ability to talk to some of these guys, you know, I'll be like, hey, you already know. Like, just keep that. If it's really real, you're gonna deal with yeah, that. And homie. if it's not, then you're just gonna, you know. But you, but it's like, uh, but I see it like almost like with the, like I said, like a gang because what happens is this person has an issue with this person. And whether this person already got over it, this person has it, and they and they have followings like, and it influences in, other people, and it influences other people, which is like influencing other hood, and we keep on that. What are you guys fighting for? And then when you break it down to it, like, that's just petty as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> and then someone they probably ain't gonna want to mess with you because you you mess with that person. Well, yeah, that's it, and it's unfortunate, but it's also the same thing. I could be the same way, like, hey, yeah. bro, if you're, I'm not messing with you, if you're, you know, and, and it's a it's a slippery slope, and people think that you're being like. Um, like you're you're trying to be a a super cholo or this and that. It's like nah, homie. Like with me, listen, I'm I, 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 I am a God fearing man, but I'm not a Christian that per se as far as baptized and all that stuff. So when people say, hey Gil, well, you won't mess with people who have snitched us now. I said, homie, I just was at a party with my homie. We did twenty something. I years. won't either. <laughs> but you know, but uh, I am I am a Christian, but I I I, I I'm still. You know, like I said, I still, I, I, I still, have, my, I still right. have my my family. I, I I consider you know my neighborhood, my family too, and 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 uh, I know I'm not gonna cross those those lines, bro. Like you know, but when it comes to the things of the Lord, yeah, the Lord of course receives, accepts everybody. But I gotta use wisdom too. You gotta use wisdom, and 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 so yeah, I ain't trying to be identified with that either. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know what I mean Like some people say Oh but if you're just Gonna be Mr. Positive said, Yeah there's positive There's also stuff that You know yeah, They don't know They don't understand Is that is that what you think it is? I, I think they, they probably just don't They don't see the dynamics of it Or Every situation is different too Because every person is different Absolutely You know And so the way you, you How you choose to go about it is, is, It's gonna It's gonna be But like me I hold to a certain morals Right? And you yourself not everybody has those exact same morals, you know, or or somebody might be, they might not take that as serious. Well, I do just because you don't doesn't mean I'm not. Exactly, bro. Exactly. But it also does, I think, hinder, like, especially in the podcast game. Imagine if I had uh, Sammy the Gro Sammy the Bulgarano reach out to me, say, hey, Gil, I want to come to the podcast. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Would you take him? Or what? I wouldn't take him, bro. <laughs> I, and, and, and it, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't because it, it goes against everything that I that I speak on, bro. Yeah, because I I still believe. Listen, I I I do believe wholeheartedly that gangs are destroying our community. That it it is a a certain type of cancer. The 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 whole aspects of us killing one another, not the aspect of us. Coming together as homies, you joining because we're friends. I mean, we're people that grew up together. I'm not saying that the, yeah. the homies, I'm saying the yeah, whole yeah. aspect of us killing each other. But also, I got to respect the ones that came before me, the ones that are still locked up, the ones that are still out here in the streets doing their thing. Yeah. Because if I was a guy who was messing with all those guys, I would lose any credibility to try to talk to a youngster and try to tell me, hey, homie, that's don't do why, this. That's why, too. That's, that, that's that, the, the big part of it. That's a big part of it. I, I kind of chose to not even mention, but that's that's a big thing too. Like, 
there's a credibility factor. Yes. You know what I mean? There's a big credibility factor. So now nah, definitely I, I, I see that. Yeah. Now let's move on to some other, hey, for, we need to get to the mic. Get a little close to the mic. Yeah. We, we need to pray for Trump. For, <laughs> we, need, we need to pray. We need to pray for Trumpito. For, they, you heard they try to take him out again right now, right? Again? Right now. Nah. Right now. Yeah. Is that right? See, right now. Yeah. We're going to take a break real yeah. quick. Now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. Right now he was, he was golfing at Mar Largo. No, it just this happened. Breaking news, bro. Breaking news. Like maybe two hours ago. He was golfing in Mar Largo. All of a sudden they hear pop, 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 couple shots. Uh the Secret Service comes, dives on him, knocks him down. Came out to be the guys that were shooting was actually well from allegedly so far. It was allegedly Secret Service that was shooting at a guy that got out of his car with the AK 47. He was getting out the AK and he was gonna bust on him, phone. Where at? Uh, in Florida. Florida? Uh, over there, where, that's where he lives at, at the, at the, at the golf place. Yeah. yeah, they try to they try to smoke this for it. I look at your boy right now. He's going to look. Yeah, no. Fact, fact check it, homie. Fact yeah. check it, there, homie. There, there, no, definitely, once again, I believe it's a it's a spiritual thing. At the, especially at that high level, there's things going on that people don't see. Right. And it's like, we're at the place where, I think you've mentioned it before, it's no longer really even about. It's more about what's right yeah. and what's wrong. Yes. Like, we can't, they're, they're trying to blur the lines and, and all that. And, and so right now we're at a place where, nah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta go where, where we all have families, bro. Yes. We all have kids. Our kids are affected by, by some of these, these way out policies, the, the, the school, you know, pouring all this garbage into, into their minds. So me, you already know, I never really got involved like with politics. I've never voted, none of that, but this is the first time. I'm more than likely going to. Well, you kind of, you better vote. Yeah, right? because I feel an obligation yes. to my family too, bro, Absolutely. my kids. And I always been been of the, I used to be a conspiracy theorist. I still believe some of those things are, are true. They're actually facts. But, but because of that, I always looked at it like they were all, I, you said it before too, there, there are two sides uh, they're one. They're they're. How do you say? It? Two sides of the same coin, or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Basically, yeah, two birds of the same. Yeah, feather. and 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 at the top, there's someone pulling strings. There's people yes. we don't even know about. Yeah, they yeah. they don't even, we don't even know their names. Yeah, but they are the, the, the people that something. that give the money, the don't yeah. all that right, bankers, all that. And so, I always seen it like that from that level. But and and as if our vote didn't count. But I kind of I, I see it differently. I think I think you probably influenced a, a little bit, bro. Like with the whole voting stuff uh, at my church. You know what I mean? They're 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 they don't bring it into the, the yeah, church, they but they they do talk about what's right and what's wrong. You know? Well, when the when the church is being attacked the way it has been for the last, I would say, for the last six to eight years, actually, as soon as Donald Trump came into office, the church has been definitely attacked. And like I said, I'm not a guy, I support the church 100%, bro, but I'm not a guy that goes there every Sunday and all that, mm -hmm. right? But when I see a good entity getting attacked the way it does. I'm like, wait a minute, what's yeah. what's going on here? Like, you want to... Because the church are the main ones pushing against that. Yes. And there are other people that are not like like yourself or other other people. And and so that's why it's... it's it, We're at the point where they want to get rid of... We're now we're like... If there was some type of martial law or something like that or, or yeah. anything like that, I'm sure... Christians would be the first ones they're going to come for. Well, uh, I think the where I saw it like really affect us was during COVID. COVID. Lockdown. Yeah, I was bro. Just I'm like, say that, yeah. wait a minute, you're letting. 5,000, yeah. 6,000 people scream at the exactly. top of their lungs, no mask, no social distancing, la la la. But you can't have 100 people at a church yeah. praying to their praying to their God, bro. Like, yep. it makes no sense. Exactly. It made it made you had some pastors getting arrested. Getting right here, John yeah. MacArthur. Yeah, like I'm like, wait a minute. How are you gonna have a thousand, ten thousand people out there protesting every day? Never once mentioned COVID, but then as soon as somebody's kind of trying to go to church, all of a sudden yeah. it's wrong. That's how, that's what kind of let us know. Like we see what we see what's going on. Yeah, here. you see what we you're see at. what's going on here. So there's definitely a, a war, bro. There's definitely a war going there is, on. There is, and and then more at the surface level, you see it, right? The you know, Democrats, Republicans, whatever. But but uh, you you gotta be you, no disrespect to anybody that has their own views. But me personally, I really say that you gotta be like completely 
like un, either unaware or ignorant of certain things if you're not going towards voting for Trump, you know, because it's it's a it's a lot of uh, I believe, especially with the young people, it's a lot of brainwashing. It's a lot of misinformation. Um, it's to the point now it's it's shifting a little bit, whereas the church was evil, but having a. You know, having a having a book about God in school is is evil and horrible separation mm -hmm. of church and state. But having a book about two boys having sex in elementary school, you know, if you want to, if that's your thing, that's your thing, that's your business. But to push that on to children, that's what I mean. If that's that's an issue. If you're bro. not if you're not upset about that, yeah, something something's up. Like you said, you do your thing on, but if you're forcing that onto children. That's not cool, bro. Like that's that's completely out. I, I homeschool. We homeschool my, my son, bro. Oh. I don't have my kids in, wow. in public school because of that. Since right. COVID, a lot of people, because a lot of people of did yeah. that. Yeah, and that's I feel a, like if uh, again, no disrespect to any, because because not everybody has it like that. Right. I'm I'm blessed enough to have a wife that she she works from home part time, and she homeschools that's my dope, kids. And bro. It, yeah, and it's 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 a job. It's bro. challenging. It's a, it's a challenging. You know. I, I help her out. I go to work. I'm I'm working, but I I help out with certain things that you know. I mean, school starts at home anyways. Like yes, even, for sure, regardless. But but uh, yeah, be, because of this very topic we're talking about, I felt if I put them in there, I'm throwing them out to the wolves, bro. And I was like, dang, like yeah, like the California law that just got signed like maybe two months ago from uh, Newsom that doesn't allow schools actually prohibit schools from letting parents know that yeah you know their kids are transgender yeah, they're passing laws like that, that and w when is when do you think it's ever been okay for an adult to keep a sexual secret with your with your with your child bro that's wild that that's that's grooming 101 bro yeah. when you're having a literally an adult sharing and keeping a secret that's almost like hey john is between me and you that's what i mean how can you not have an issue with that's that? crazy bro and and mostly the people that push those bills don't even have kids. Mm. You know, if you look at them, it's like, and I've had different discussion with people, even on the phone, a guy, and then at the end I say, hey, bro, let me ask you something. How old are your kids? Like, oh, I don't have any kids. I said, bro, that, well, uh, that's why you're saying this stuff. When you have kids, you're going to figure it out. You, that's your number one priority, bro, if you're a good parent. My daughter and I used to have this discussion when when uh, one of my granddaughters was a baby. Mm -hmm. And back then, she was like, I'm going to be nothing like you, dad. I'm going to let her do what she wants. She's going to choose this. She's going to choose that. She's going to make all her own choices, right? Mm -hmm. uh, my granddaughter and I, I think she just turned 11 years old. And I said, hey, Al, oh, I took her. I took her iPad away. I took, I said, oh, what happened to her? Just, <laughs> she's like, yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah, no, gonna... As she gets older. And she also used to be like, because my daughter has a lot of gay friends. You no, know, which in reality, we don't care. For, it's not, when have we ever got? Everybody has family and stuff like that. Those yeah. way, we never get to, I mean, we don't even care. Yeah, it's not, a, it's not really about, I mean, on a whole, from my perspective, that's a whole nother topic. But, but uh, uh, as far as, as far as what, what as, yeah, you as know, a person, you know, about, yeah. yeah, you're not, you're not gonna sit there and on a, on a church level, that's a different conversation yeah. we have. But on a regular, no, nah, yeah, that's my yeah, cousin, that's this and that. <laughs> and my daughter used to believe, like, oh God, that you're you're a homophobe. I'm like, no, no I'm not a homophobe. Yeah. I just don't. and now that my granddaughter's gotten to age, my daughter, I catch my daughter calling me once in a while. What in the hell are these people doing? I said, that's your people, Al. That's your, and she starts laughing. She's like, they're crazy, dad. How are you going to be reading these books to kids? Yeah. I said, that's what I've been trying to tell you. We yeah. don't, like most people, I, I think they made a mistake by going that and attacking like, and that's, I, I feel like it's an attack on children and going after kids and, and reading certain books and trying to push this thing. It's like, when you're talking LGBTQ, you're talking about a sexual preference. Mm -hmm. So what does that got to do with the six-year-old, with the seven-year-old, with the eight-year-old? These kids have no clue. You have you have little five-year-old kids, four-year-old kids, and you got these parents who I believe are some of them are whack jobs, bro. Oh, my kids. I, no, your kid. A, a kid can sit there and say, I'm a dinosaur. Yeah. What, what are you going to do? Put, make him a... No. Exactly. These are children. That's a perfect way to, to say, like... What if your kid says he wants to be a monkey or, you know what I mean? That's cool. Like, that's not, that's not cool. But just to go a little bit deeper, there's, there's a, a, something that's, that's happening too, that we may not be making the connection. Um, me personally, I believe we're headed towards 
a, a place where they want to uh, unify the whole world and make it into a, like like a one one unit, one world, one government, mm. all of that. And and so and and that goes deep. It even connects to transhumanism, a lot of that stuff. Like the the guys that 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 uh, uh, the WEF uh, or, or the, mm-hmm. the uh, Klaus Schwab people like that. Um, they've come out openly and said certain things. So what I believe is that the the lines are trying to be blurred so that people get more and more comfortable. Next will be, oh, it's okay for an adult to have yes. sex with a child. Yes. They're, they're yes. kind of, it's there. going like that's, that. That's where it's going. Yeah. You have now in California a certain, uh, I forgot we were having a discussion about this. Uh, they don't want to use pedophile. They want to yeah. use like... Um, uh, uh, maps, I maps. Think. Uh, 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 man, man addicted, attracted to. Attracted. What is it? Somebody, you know what it is, Chris? Max, uh, man, adra- man attracted it, it, to. Yeah, children, it, something it, like that. It, it, it's some crazy uh, acronym they want to use that yeah. they don't want to. No, it's a pedophile. That's what I'm bro. saying they're trying to blur the lines and trying to make it seem as if no, that's what it is. It is what it is. Like <laughs> it, 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 it is what it is. Do you, like a lot of the stuff with church. What's it called, Chris? So there's, they broke it up into three different ones. Pedophile, child sex offender. Pedophile, child. Minor attracted person. Minor, minor attracted, person. attracted person, bro. That's a good one. That's a good one. Who came up with that one? Huh? A pedophile? <laughs> okay, let's keep it real. Well, a pedophile. I mean, yeah. that, that's what they're doing. Um, now, a lot of the stuff that is like uh, ingrained in the church, would you say, because... Like with the world thing, those are like prophecies, are they not? Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, there's prophecies that uh, they've they've they're unfolding, bro. They are. Look they what's are. happening in Israel. A lot of people are, are waking up to. Uh, they're starting to question. Oh man, maybe this Bible stuff is real. You know, uh, me personally, I started studying all that. That's why I I made that transition too, bro. Because it's it, I stand on it. I believe it's true. And I stand on. I've seen so much evidence, bro. Even historical archaeology, historical evidence, all that. But, uh, but yeah, as far as the prophecies, there, there, there are things that that are that we're headed, bro. Revelation chapter thirteen. For anybody that wants to go check it out, uh, most people have heard it. You know, where it talks about the mark that at one point, uh, the whole world is gonna. You're not going to be able to buy or sell unless you have a mark. And right now, we already have the infrastructure for something like that. It's there. already set up, bro. There, it's bro. Already, you know, so so uh, that right there shows you too, like, whoa, like this is even people like Joe Rogan, bro. Joe Rogan was hardcore anti-Christian. And little by little, yeah. he's, I always say, God's working on him. God's working on him. Even, even you. <laughs> I've always told you too. You've always told you know? me that, bro. So, and you're absolutely right. Yeah. So, so that that's how that's how it happens, bro. But, but, um, yeah, we we're definitely in a time where we got we got to wake up, bro. Yeah, like the the mark of the beast. And all you already seen that. You've been people getting chipped. They already do. And that. you're seeing money getting taken out of the the transition or the uh, uh, you know. Uh, and now it's becoming a place where eventually, uh, yeah, and. and Maybe, I don't know, 30 years, 100%, bro. There's Starbucks or one of these places, they're going to no longer have a, a cash. Or yeah, cash, it's becoming cash. They, 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 bro. Yeah, they put, I don't know when it's going to start. I don't know if it's Starbucks or one of these big places, but but yeah, bro, we're, we're definitely. Well, you go to Dodger bro. games. Dodger games, no more cash. Yeah. It's all card, bro. Yeah. yeah. And and if you know, if you've looked into this, there's also, I'm sure you have, a, it's called a, a, a digital currency. Mm-hmm. I forget the, the, the exact uh, letters, but. They have it there. It's already it's there. There's a digital currency. So so I, I believe and this might be a little this is just my opinion. It might be a little conspiracy, conspiratorial or whatever. But I believe they're purposely doing this. Someone, the powers that be, they I'll just say they are purposely doing this so we can get to that point. I believe so, and I think that nowadays it's it's not even conspiracy anymore, bro. There's yeah. so much stuff going exactly, on that yeah. it's it's not even conspiracy. Yeah. Um, I believe it has a lot to do with what you're saying. I also believe it has a lot to do with controlling. Control, yeah, because That's what it's all about. You can I can literally say, what what sticks talking about? Oh, I don't like that. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put his money on hold for the next month or two. Exactly until he gets in line. And Revelation 13, when it talks about the mark, what is that? If you can't buy or sell food, what is that? 
that's control. You're control, you're bro. someone's dictating what you're doing, bro. And and so think about it. Two thousand years that that was written two thousand years ago by no, John it, in an island. It's they tried not to burn him. He was in the island, bro, and he was used by God to pen the Book of Revelation. That kind of technology or that kind of stuff didn't exist back then. So that's how we know too that he was inspired. It wasn't just a human being. People say, "Oh, man, man wrote the the Bible." Man, yeah, man wrote the Bible, but they were. It was forty different authors. It's not just one person, right? And it was all different times between a span of fifteen hundred years in three languages. Historical uh, archaeology evidence uh, uh, corroborates it. All this, all this different stuff. So, um, we should definitely pay attention to what it says about the future because that's exactly where we're headed. All you got to do is read it and look at the world. And then you got to, as, as a person, you got to make some choices to, to uh, prepare yourself or something like that too. Now, um, as far as the Israel conflict that's going on in the Middle East, I know there's a prophecy of some sort. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. And hopefully you can ex explain to us and, and clarify for some of us who don't know it as well. Um, is it that, the Jews have to be in their land in order for Jesus to come back. Is that is that like the yes. bulk of it? But so that was they came back into their land in forty eight. Yes, of course. Uh, and mo some people don't know they weren't there in that land for almost two thousand years. Correct. And when that happened, that was a prophecy that was fulfilled. There's people that were pro that were saying that's going to happen, and there was people naysayers that ain't going to happen. What, what? And when it happened, it's like, whoa. When they came back, you mean? They came back. Oh, okay. They came back. So there's there's multiple scriptures. I went on a, maybe, I don't know when it was, right around when the war started, I went on a, on Hoodstocks with oh, Lucky. I thought, I thought you said when you went on a sick one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much yeah. when, I, when we were discussing I, 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 it. I think I remember it that. Got a little, it got a little heated and there was people calling in. And I'm 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 not a defender of, of Israel, bro. I don't I don't profess I don't say they everything they do is right, but I stand with Israel because of what the word of God says. You know, and there's a program happening. They're they're gonna go through a, a period called the seven year tribulation. And that's what that's 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 what the Bible says that because they rejected Jesus. They killed yes. him. They killed him. The, the Romans killed him, but they're the ones that called the shot, right? So uh like you said. They had to be back in their land. That's already happened. Um, and it says one gen. It says uh, a generation. It's a. It's one generation, pretty much. How long is a generation? People say, well, some say eighty years, some seventy. Um, I would say seventy or eighty. So any, any, yeah, easy, yeah, anywhere easy. between there. So we're definitely there. Forty-eight, if you count the years, we're like at year seventy-four, right. somewhere, yeah. somewhere around that. Um, and so. Yeah, when you look, when you do the homework and you go look at it and you're not just influenced by the news and, and all this different stuff, uh, you, you'll you you'll see some things, you know. But, yeah, but I've always like uh, tripped out a little bit on that, that it, to me, it seems like the the Jews, some do not like, don't like Christianity at all. Yeah, that's right? another thing. Not all, but but there like are. Especially over there. You see since, some videos like since they went to war, a lot of them have opened up, have have uh because guess who guess who's over there guess who was the first ones over there helping doing everything doing all the work christians yes. the church so so they've opened up but you're right there there's there's been there's always been this friction because they don't believe jesus was a messiah they rejected him yes you know but that was prophesied as well it, it says that they're going to reject him only a few a remnant is going to come and, and believe but it says in the end they're going to come they're going to finally realize who the real Messiah is, and and they're gonna come to him. So that's the reason that uh, so many Christians support Israel because yeah, they need to be there in order for the mechanisms of the next prophecy. Yeah, to and take it's place. God, it's God's people. A lot of people don't. It rubs them wrong because we're all human and we're, we're all creations of God, but it, it, they don't understand. Uh, before there was a nation of Israel, they came. They were, I believe, in the land of Canaan. They were regular, just pagan people. And God, he chose a man called Abraham and he raised him up and he's a father of Israel. He had Isaac, he gave him a promise, Isaac, and then Jacob, and then the 12 tribes of Israel. And so that's, that, that's, that was, the Lord set that up. He called them my people, but throughout those years, they always messed up, bro. They kept going to 
false idols to dip being you know they had god gave them the law he gave them the scriptures all this different stuff and they constantly messed up bro yeah, keep they, messing they, up they, keep they messing up they put their phone on mute fool yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, was, that was the Lord letting you know, yeah. put me on mute right there. Yeah, uh, I've always, I hear that a lot. The twelve tribes of Israel. Yeah, um, and it's not make it. it we aren't the twelve, 12 tribes as oh many no, people it, think. Well, yeah, I see that. Well, I, I'm gonna get some. Uh, I'm a, a brother here that he came over here a few a uh, few weeks ago. He's uh, an Israelite. I'm gonna get him here and pick his brain because they believe a certain thing. But the twelve tribes of Israel was actually like. Tribes of tribes, of, yeah, of men and women, and yeah, and and, and they all had a, a roles to play, like like the tribe of Levi, they they were the Levitical priests, so they're the ones that took care of of all the uh, the priests when it had to do with 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 the Lord. For instance, once a year they would go into the tabernacle, and the high priest, only one person could go in there, and he has to be he has to be right with the Lord, because if not, he goes into God's presence. They it, you know, he, he would die and nobody could go in there to get him. There's a they say that uh, this is, isn't in the Bible, but many people believe that they would even probably tie it, tie something to his leg in case they had to pull him out. Oh, wow. But the point is that um, this person would go and he would make atonement for the nation, for the entire nation of Israel. Right. And and symbolically, it would be an animal where you place your hand on the an animal and symbolically your sins are transferred to the animal and then you kill the animal. Sacrifice. Right? That's a picture of Jesus, what Jesus would do. He's the ultimate sacrifice, oh, the Lamb okay. of God. So not us. We're on the other side of the cross. And all we have to do is place our faith in him. He made it easy for us. They had it pretty rough because they had to come yearly and make atonement. They had to, even throughout the year, they, they each had to individually had to make atonement. They would bring sacrifices to make atonement for their sins. And so... We don't have to do that no more. It says one sacrifice is good for all. And through that one sacrifice, we're perfected forever. You know, a lot of people don't, don't know. They think it's a religion. Oh, I got to. Nah, that's not what it is. It's a, it's a personal thing. And it's, it's by faith. It's by faith. You know, I'm not a religious person. You know, some people think that they say, oh, I'm not religious. Religious is, has to do more with rules. You're doing this outward. It's an outward uh, you know, but 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 inside there's no there's no connection. There's no connection. And that's the opposite. We're, we're the opposite. OK. You know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of people don't know that. Yeah, yeah. I, the I, devil uses that to keep people from coming to the Lord thinking, oh, I, I got to clean myself up before I find. Oh, I, I'm not ready. You ain't going to ever be ready. <laughs> you need it. You need it. Who jumps in the shower or who cleans himself up before they jump in the shower? Nobody. You got to jump in the shower. It's like when people say, no, nah, I, I got to work out before I go to the gym. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> same. I, I want to look good before I go to yeah, the gym. Yeah. Brother. Same thing. Yeah. Same thing. Oh, I, one thing I've always I've always wondered, and I think you're the perfect guy to answer. What is the the major difference between Catholics and Christian? Do you guys are you guys both? Uh, no, I, I me personally, yeah. I, I don't I believe some Catholics are saved. I know I know some of them. Some of them are my family, um, but they Somewhere down the line, they, they went left. They, they, they went a different way outside of what the Bible says. So they believe that the Pope is, you know, God's uh, representative. And, and he could even uh, say something that's contrary. And he has. Yes. Uh, to the word. And, and, and it's, it's good. And it's like, nah, we got to go with what it says. Now what man says, if we see a man going against what this and he says he represents this. That shows that he's false. He's not. He's not really of this. And so it's been like that. The enemy. The Bible says that that uh, Satan transforms himself as an angel of light. So he comes as something good. It's like every good lie. Every good lie has truth in it. Oh yeah. But that little bit is gonna. It's like having this a bottle of water. You know, you can have a brand new bottle of water and it's good. But if you put one little drop of poison, so it it's poison. It's a, it's a wrap. And so. That's 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 a difference. They believe that you have to do something. You have to go do go to church, do all these different things. Uh, uh, the Eucharist. Uh, you have to. They have these different beliefs that don't come from 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 God's word, and so that's that's the difference. We believe it's all by faith. It's all by grace through faith. It's simply by believing in the Lord, and He accepts you. But based are, on are that. both uh, both see Jesus in the same light? 
yes and and no because if, if you see if you think that you you have to do something after what he did you're basically saying that what he did is not is not good enough okay and we say no it's very good enough he's god he 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 showed how much he loved us when he did that and 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 that's the difference they still religion think about it every religion bro what separates biblical christians from every other religion they all have to do something to get to god and in 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 the word of god he came to us he came to us because we weren't able we're knuckleheads bro human beings were the inside were were naturally uh, uh opposed to god right. bro and, and no disrespect to to you or anybody else but God was gangster at times, no? Yeah, God's was. not always this nice, like he walked. He, he used to walk in there, and 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 uh, that's why when coming from the lifestyle that I came from, gang banging and all that. <laughs> when I was in there, I started studying that, and I studied like the life of Paul. Okay, he was a he he used to kill Christians, or he was the main guy calling it. He was calling the shot. Really? And uh, yeah, and and like there's there's what, a there's what, an account. Okay, what do you mean he used to kill Christians? Okay, there's an account in uh. Book of Acts, I believe is is verse is chapter nine somewhere around there. There's a dude named Stephen. He's the first martyr of the church. So when they killed him, they stoned him. They stoned him, and then Paul was there, and they all took back then. They took off their clothes. They threw it at his feet. It was a uh, it was a show of like reverence, like for him that he's a, he's the one that's he's the one calling it right. Uh, and and so when he got converted, he was on his way to go take more Christians to jail. He, he would either kill Christians. Paul. Paul. Or take them to jail. Not just him, but he had his, you know. Major non-believer. Yeah. Okay. But he was a Jew. He was, a, he believed in God. He thought he, he was doing God's work. Oh, man. Yeah, he thought he was doing, but because of that, when I started, I was like, damn, I come from that. Like, I was able to relate and I wanted to know more. I was like, damn, kind of like you, like what? Yeah. So I started looking into it and when he's, when he was on his way to go, uh, uh, take more Christians to prison. Jesus appeared to him, and and from that day forward, he he started serving the Lord, and and he planted more churches, and he wrote half of the New Testament. Wow, dude! I see. I I never knew that yeah. stuff. I just know of certain stories that you would hear, and you're like, damn. And look at Peter. Look at when they came to get Jesus. What did Peter do? Boom! Sliced one of them dudes' ear off, and Jesus was like, nah. He's like, it's not about that. And he got the ear, and he he put it back on the dude. He put the ear back on the dude and uh and he told him, put your sword away. You know. There's something bigger coming around. Yeah. So so it, this has to happen. I have to go to he went to his death. Like you said, he's gangster. He's the ultimate gangster. He went to his death. And he 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 seen it and he even he even he was going through it, bro. He was even bleeding it says like like through uh through his head, bro, like like sweat of blood. He, he, just knowing the things he's gonna go through. And he said, But let your will be done. And he went, bro, and carried that cross, and, and he suffered. With so many religions out there, is there one that's right, or are they all somewhat right? So that's why I don't say religion. Okay. I just say uh, what's the truth and what's not. Because four plus two plus two can't equal five or six. There's there's only one truth. And I know a lot of people get uh, uh, offensive at that. But uh, according to the Bible, there's only one way. That's through Jesus. He is the way, the truth, the life. All, like I said earlier, everybody else is trying to earn their way to get in there. They're trying to work. They're trying to do good. They're going to church. They're giving money. They're, and, and some of those people, unfortunately, they're going to they're gonna be in for a rude awakening yeah, because it, it don't happen like that. You can't pay your way to heaven, baby. It's that, yeah. It says there's going to be people that... Sh that that go into the party there's a parable and he, he he's gonna he goes in without a, a coat and the the dude he's like where's your coat at like and he 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 didn't say nothing bro he got stuck and he, he cast him out it's like a picture of like you have to be the coat represents the righteousness of christ so when you put your faith in in christ your sins your sins go to him and his perfection his righteousness goes to you and that's a, it's called a divine exchange. And when that happens, that's it. it that happens forever. You're sealed mm. forever, bro. Your name is written in the book of life. You know, we've been to jail. Who who likes to go to jail? Who likes to be in jail? Well, when you leave this life, 
there's there there's gonna be something that 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 you're never gonna be able to get out. And so why wouldn't you right now make that choice? Because nobody knows when nobody knows when their day is, bro. Nah, nobody does. You know. Now speak to me a little bit about um uh, like the revelations part when uh you know when Jesus does come and there's like a is it like a moratorium where people are left in the earth and some are taken out? What's yeah, there's something called the rapture. The rapture, that's what. And I'm and uh, it says it's a promise and it says comfort one another with these words. It's in uh First Thessalonians four where it says uh. The dead in Christ will rise first, and then those who are alive, those who are believers, will be caught up with them in the clouds, and will be with him after that forever. Those who are left behind are the ones that didn't have the Lord, or they kind of like rejected him, or or a lot of Jews too, because he's gonna deal with 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 a lot of them, and so uh, that's that's pretty much. There's something else I want to share, but that that's that's yeah, that's pretty much it. And and the people that are left behind, are they just left forever? No, they or? can no, they can they can still they can still come to the Lord, but they're gonna go through some stuff, bro. It said it says that's gonna be the worst time ever. So picture Hitler or Stalin or one of these, you know, crazy dictators. Man, yes. What was happening was crazy, bro, but people accepted it. Well, it's gonna be like that times. 100 bro because it's going to be one leader one ruler and and he's going to have full control of everything and so people are going to get the ones that don't get the mark it says they're going to get their their head chopped off ouch yeah so i rather get my head chopped off yeah yeah I get it. but that promise is something it's a trip bro because when when noah uh god told noah to build the ark it had never rained before people did he said hey water's going to come there's going to be a flood and and it had never happened. Just like the rapture is something that's supernatural. It, it hasn't happened, but it's going to happen. Do you feel that a lot of colleges are going in here and brainwashing some of the Christian people that believed and have major faith? Like my boy, Chris, <laughs> that's right. his eyes are <laughs> my boy, Chris was majorly into religion, bro. And then he got out of college and they blew his mind away. Homie. Well, that was his problem. It was religion. <laughs> oh, ah, right. So, so yeah, uh, nah, nah, I don't know. (laughs) I don't know what he went through, but, 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 um, yeah, everybody's on their own journey, but for sure the college campuses, it all starts with the youth. That's why they're attacking the the youth at element at at the, at the, uh, the, the first level, bro. And all the way to the last through college, they're, they're literally, we see it with all these protests, Mm -hmm. all this, how come you never, never did that with other people we've had other other words and you know just to keep it real our country's guilty of a bunch of stuff too bro yeah. we, we've done some some crazy stuff looking at uh, uh hiroshima and oh, yeah, stuff course. like that so that's what happens in war bro I people th- die i think what it is though with the israel thing uh if you look at it like if you break it down on a on a colonial thing it's almost like the last the last uh the last part of history where the colonial stuff is happening so, as far as somebody coming in there and so saying, from the natural way of looking at it yeah you could look at it as, as like a colonialism type of thing but from what we spoke about oh, earlier oh yes that's their land they're the rightful owners god it says god gave them that land if god created everything he gets to say who's who goes where that's their neighborhood and it's one of the small if you look at a map they're surrounded by enemies bro in 1948 the day they went into the land, war kicked off. Of course. They, all the surrounding nations attacked Israel, and guess who won? Oh, Israel won. Israel. Yeah. How? It was supernatural, bro. So they had a lot of 19, bombs. <laughs> they didn't have none, uh, nothing back then. They, they, they barely went into their land. They had and America. They won, bro. Yeah, but 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 uh, 1967 as well. Yeah. Another another war, supernatural uh, 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 victory, bro. Everybody came against them as well. Would you say, though, that the response right now is majorly over-exaggerated as far as as far as how many places they're just bombing? And well, yeah, it sucks, bro. That's why I said I don't I don't support every single thing that I'm not a a defender of Israel, but I I stand with them. But yeah, we don't nobody who likes war, bro. But the, the reality is. That's what happens. If you do the history, everybody, that's what happens, bro. Yeah. And yeah, from from one, we're fathers, right? We're like, damn, that's cold, but that's war, bro. They, they, 
they've been attacking them. For, they 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 kidnap. I don't know two three hundred people. Yeah, a lot. They of killed twelve hundred. That's equivalent because they're so small. That's equivalent of them killing thirty thousand here in America. Right. Imagine they killed thirty thousand people oh, here. Yeah, in we're America. destroying somebody. What's gonna happen? Yeah, we're destroying somebody. It's the equivalent, but people don't see it like that because of that. It's a pushback. Oh, and it says there's gonna be it's 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 gonna be anti-Semitic towards the end because it, it says the whole world it says uh uh Israel's gonna be a cup of trembling for the whole world. Basically, the whole world's gonna be against Israel. So and and it's coming to light it's coming, right now. It's already happening. It's coming to light. So what would be the next uh, the next thing that would happen that would be part of the prophecy? Let's say, I would say maybe uh I I say the rapture can happen anytime. Okay, but aside from that. Um, I think eventually America will probably back away from that. It depends what happens, right? With right. this, with this, with this uh, election, um, that's another thing, right? That's why I prefer him in there because he supports Israel. He brought the 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 what do you call that? The embassy, the embassy back to Jerusalem. Yeah, I saw right? that. That was a major move. Yeah, that's a, that's prophetic too. You know, so so uh, definitely everybody's gonna be against the world, bro. Against Israel, the whole world's gonna be against them. It's it's getting there for sure. Yeah, it's it's already getting. We're there's only a couple of us that back them up. America is the main one, and there's not too many. Bro. That's not there's that's not, too, not many. too many else, bro. <laughs> so as far as like uh, America right now, the border, um, homelessness, all this crazy stuff. Uh, how do you feel as a you know as a, as a Got a faith that are we headed in the right direction? Do you see America getting better? You already know America's getting worse, bro. They, they're, me, my opinion, they're purposely flooding our our country with with. It's not just Mexicans. These these are people from all over, from all bro. over, even Chinese. A lot of people don't know. Yeah, a lot of Chinese sure. people. I believe there's something unfolding, bro. That that there might be there. We're, we might be headed towards a civil war. I could see that. You know, imagine Trump didn't win. I think there be there's gonna be a big. I think if Trump was was uh to get a be some in there to get assassinated, I think it you definitely would have some civil war. Uh, I I mean I, a lot of these small towns that are like the one in uh, Springfield, Ohio. That, that's the one that's making all the national headlines, and I think people don't understand why it's making so much headlines. Uh, Springfield, Ohio is a town of, let's say, 65,000 people, bro. Mm -hmm. All right. It's a small blue collar town that doesn't really have that much work. The, a lot of the in industry that was in there has left and they have dropped in 15,000 Haitians in there. Mm -hmm. Imagine you come from a small town. It's like you coming from Rosemead, bro. And Rosemead, there's no other town around Rosemead, yeah. bro. It's just Rosemead. And from one, two, three years, you got 15,000. Dude, it's going to yeah. be. And you're already a poor town. Exactly. You already don't have a lot going on. Over there in Mexicali, where I, I live in El Central. Simon. I, I, I've been to Mexicali to do uh, missionary stuff, yes. stuff like that. Um, They have a whole section, bro, of Haitians, like gang of them. And, and, it's 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 a trip, bro. Uh, Who's the the recent ones? Oh, Venezuelans, right? Venezuelans, yes. Yeah, and, and I I think you you hit it spot on. It kind of reminds me of of uh, Fidel, right? Yes. And, yes. When with the with the Scarface, with the Scarface, they're all coming yeah. in and Liberta, Liberta, yeah. and they're coming in here, and you know they're unloading the guys from prison, yeah. bro. I I heard that I ran into some because I'm a bus driver, <laughs> and I I went something told me I went and talked to them. They were from Venezuela, and uh, they I I. I identified it because I come from Simone. that. Like right away, I was like, "You guys look like you know," <laughs> and they were like, "Yup," you know. So they were headed to Oklahoma or something. They, I, I want to say, Venezuela is, is having the lowest crime they've had in decades, bro. Yeah, yeah because they're letting them all over here. Well, look at El Salvador. Oh, El Salvador, El Salvador, a lot, bro. A, they say that's the safest place right now in the western yeah it yeah. is it definitely is it's it went from the worst to it, the safest it went from the absolute i think uh not just the worst it was like the worst in the world per capita because how many murders they were having <laughs> yeah and bukali went in there and bro he cleaned it up bro yeah i i got a we got a homeboy over there bro that's that's he was doing good he's had a family working all that and uh because he has tattoos you know he has a neighbor on his head on the chest 
he got snatched up too. Mm. He's been in there that whole time, bro. That, well, that's they don't even have mattresses in there. They don't. They don't even have mattresses. I in that saw prison. one, dude. They had. They, it was a. Uh, I think the cell was made for like. 16 20 people they had 60 people in the cell they got hammocks four rows yep. tum, tum, tum. and then what they do is every they're in boxers yeah every day they or every week they they, they switch so eventually eventually you're gonna get a bed bro but after that you gotta go to the hammocks for about two three months and then come back down oh dude it was vicious bro yeah. and, and the food and but that place trip i don't know if you've seen it it's on youtube it just came out like four months ago a little small documentary yeah I that the one that's all church all day every day all day that's all they do they come out they do bible mm-hmm. study they talk and and the guys who don't are stuck in the cells over there like where at in el salvador yeah no oh, i didn't i know i didn't see I, that i'll one. send you the link i just yeah. i watched like maybe i seen the one about the prison no this one is a prison yeah but this prison it's a it's a all guys are lifers over there pretty much right yeah Every single day, bro, all they're doing day in and day out, studying the Bible. Every day, every day, every day. The guys giving the, the sermons are lifers. But look at the name of the country. What is it called? El Salvador. What does that mean? The, the Savior? <laughs> Before it was the Savior, the host. Come on. <laughs> yeah. But that, he's using that as a tool to let people out. And they showed some, which I, I tripped out. I was like, wait, I thought you didn't have, and they had some guys out there all tied it down, mm-hmm. but they would, when, before they go out, they kind of put makeup on. I, I hope that, man, bro, I'm hoping that they look into some of these cases and, and man, it, it sucks, bro. For the homie that like we, we, we send the money Absolutely. still, we send the family money, but, and I got another, we got another homeboy that, that, uh, he, he left. He had a, he was he got deported over there and he had a he had a flea. I won't disclose his location, right. but he's uh he had a him and his his family, bro, they had a flea. Well, the thing was that it's horrible for situations like that for guys who go over there and they're like, dude, I'm out this life, I'm trying, but you get wrapped up because of how much just like it was a massacre out there, bro. I got a home, we got a homeboy that, that got killed out there. He got deported. Yeah, and they they, they killed him. No, because it's tough, but they were I think the the gangs out there were overrun. They, I don't even think they were. They were overrunning these towns where yeah, they were taxing the hell out of everybody, killing anybody they want to, doing whatever they want. Snatching people up in their house. And then they're on, they're on TV talking about, here's how I bring my butt in. Yeah. My girl comes and visits me. And well, God is looking at this like, what are you for there? Fuck it. Yeah. You guys are glamorizing this? You guys are pretty much like, you know, look at us. Look at us. We're living the dream. All right. Let's right, go. He just came and shut yeah. Shut, shut it down yeah now the people are i would think i'm much happier the, i saw yeah. the the, the I, vendors I, I understand the whole purpose and it, it of course from that perspective it makes sense but i think there's some some uh, international violations of of uh, what do you call it human rights yeah, human rights of course because uh they're still human bro yeah but like he said uh, let me know where you want me to ship them. He told America, oh, you don't want me to treat them like this? Let me know. I'll send them to you. I, I'll give them to you. That's if you, if that's what you want, I will give them to you. Because I think where he Did was... Did he say that? Yeah, he said that, bro. He told all the human... Because he said, the, those human rights, done this end, you know, he gets into We'll take bro. my homeboy. Yeah, he said, <laughs> he said, let me know who you want. I will give you guys all... What, what it was, I believe, it finally came to a head over there where it was so bad where you're either going to pick... The señoras selling the tamales or whatever, the ones selling the sodas, or you're going to pick the gang member. And at this yeah. point, it was like, you guys are out of control, bro. You guys are completely out of control. Hopefully, you'll start getting... And that guy saw that documentary. There was church guys. He had on, there were bandieros. He, he's giving them all an opportunity, but they got to straight denounce the gang, do this, go through all these rigorous well, that, things. That's why, that's why uh, a lot of people respect, even from our... Our, of uh, our where we come from, there's there's good uh, uh, you know homies that that have you know went with the Lord and they were very highly respected. Oh, absolutely, and, and they never told on nobody. They never did nothing, and and as long as they stay doing that. Yeah, yeah, don't be double dipping and yeah. all of a sudden come back and, and want to be like Mister Gangster. Exactly, yeah. But no, I, I I definitely have seen that transition. Uh, like I said at the beginning, it. Church guys would get a bad rep, but it was all mostly from 
80s and the 90s yeah. and little 2000s where you know the homies got the biblia talking a good one and then yeah. later on the 90s oh they're shooting some dope in the back you know? they don't want to participate in the activities <laughs> in there but as soon as they get out you know it's, oh that's another that's another thing bro you yeah, yeah you would have people like that and, and that just gives everybody else a yeah. bad look but in reality no nah, that's I'll why be- i felt that that's why i kind of that's why i was trying to communicate to you earlier that i felt a little uh I don't want to use the word offended, but but uh, uh, that individual, mm-hmm. the, like like that was, it's horrible, bro. Because it, like you said, it gives it gives people, you know, it, it just it, it makes it look bad for for all of us that are really li- living that life, bro. It, it, it's like I said, the Lord He'll accept anybody, but it's clear that that dude said that, and then he went. And he's still trying to act tough and he's yeah. still trying to do all that stuff. Like, it doesn't make no sense. Nah, like, listen, I mean, you a cool ass cat, six, you mellow, you this and that. But I know you, I know who you were. I know the yeah. whole get down, bro. And a lot of people on the internet want to act. They yeah. That. They want to act for the internet, homie. The ones that I believe do that, they probably never were. Yeah. They, they, they don't got no history. Yeah. So, they feel, uh, the, you know, the, they the, lack the, that in the hood. So now yeah. they're trying to get it for the internet, China. bro. And they're gonna, yeah. they want everybody knowing they're the baddest and the toughest. Like, nah, yeah. I mean, if you were that bad, you're not, you're not sitting here trying to yeah, prove if, to everybody. If you have to try to prove it to everybody, that's not you. Yeah, you know. It, it, to me, it's like yesterday. I'm with all the homies. You were doing the same thing, yeah. right? And these guys, I know since the '80s, bro. And it's like all these fools know what's up with me and what what, what, what I was in the hood. I don't got to prove it to these guys. And I definitely don't got to prove it to somebody on the internet, fool, because you're never going to get them proving it, fool, because there's always somebody knowing the internet. Yeah. (laughs) But no, I, 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 I really, I love what you're doing, homie, because you stand for somebody who was in the game, went through that whole gauntlet, homie, and got out of it alive, got out of it with your sense and got out of it now and you're trying to help like push people away from that so what i what i do i don't like i'll give you an example like let's say with my homeboys i don't preach to to them or nothing like that like like if i if i find an opportunity where i can be a a light i'll do it you know um and and i just i pray for them like especially little homies and stuff like that but what i do is because of of platforms like this, I've met a bunch of people, even like with the interview that I did with you, hood stars, street gangs, and people hit me up. I'll give you an example uh, from from the hood stocks one. Uh, somebody hit me up and they were they were about to commit suicide. Oh. And they were just going through it, bro, just crying, just confused. Um, they didn't know really about about the Lord, like they question a bunch of stuff, and uh, I just I just prayed out like Lord, give me the words. I, I spoke to him and uh, led him to the Lord, and he's ever since that day he's been walking with the Lord. That's bro. Dope, he's bro. he's that's just one example. I, I there's I got a bunch of connections like that. Like there's a brother out there in Ohio. He's from South Central, but he lives out there. He him too. He he lost his family. And I started kind of working with him, like, bro, just put your trust in the Lord. He's gonna work it out, bro. He, 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 and he did. Now he's walking with the Lord. He got his kids back. No, bro. So that's you know that that's kind of the what I do. You know, if anybody's out there, you know, and and if I can't help, like, I'll, I got a lot of different connections with different, like, we can find you a place where you need to you need to be or. Or stuff like that, or even just to chop it up. That's why I do what I do. That's why I come on here. Absolutely. So what would you say to somebody who's in that position and don't know anybody who's in any kind of, you know, religion or in a position like you? How do they go about finding a home, like as far as, you know, religion goes? There's a, there's a bunch of them out there. There's a bunch of them out there. But that's why I put it. I put the invite out there. Okay. To, to hey, hit me up, you know, on, on uh, you can hit me up on IG. Uh, righteous by faith underscore RIP, uh, but that's that's pretty much it. Like, but there's 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 plenty of places. There's plenty. Of, they're all over the place, um, and and it worked for me, bro. That's that's think about it. I did five years in the county, and then ninety days later, I went straight into a home and I stayed there about a year, year and a half. So I I on my own volition went 
And that's when it works, bro. When you make that choice and you take that step. Because a lot of people, they won't take that step. When you got out and you, you, I mean, you beat a murder, right? And you're out. Was there ever a point that you were like at a crossroads where you like almost like says, I can't do this, like almost got back into the lifestyle? Uh, heck yeah. That's why I say it's, it, it's, it, it's an addiction, bro. And, and even like seeing, you know, stuff on the walls, like, yeah, it, it triggers, bro. Right. It triggers because that was my life. Like that's all I, I put the neighborhood before even my family. Of course. You know? well, I didn't have no kids back then. But but yeah, bro, it's, it's, a, um, it's definitely... You know, it, you you definitely feel that tug you struggle calling you back, yeah, yeah, calling like sure. uh, Luis. You had Luis, in, yeah, right? Uh-huh. He he wrote a book called it calls you calls yeah, you back. It absolutely like does. Yeah, it absolutely does. Yeah, some people won't ever understand it, you know, but it it, it definitely is. I mean, yeah. you see certain you're like, yeah, but I mean, you you got you were doing it for the family, homie. It, yeah, what it comes down to, yeah, bro. and you gotta be, yeah, you do gotta be uh, uh, careful and know what lines not to cross. Yeah. You know, so I used to, for instance, I used to, uh, you know, I, I used to train people up, you know, All right. train people up. And now it's like, can't do that. Now it's just try to try to, you know. Are you training them up for the right cause now? You're training yeah, them for that, life. Like, like if, if they want it, you know, yeah, if they if want, want it. it. Hey, brother. Always a great time having you in here, homeboy. Again, look at the camera. Let people know where they can find you. Are you still dropping on your YouTube channel? I but have it, but, but yeah, I have a YouTube channel, Righteous by Faith, uh, IG, like I said. Um, and thank you, bro. Thanks for inviting me. Oh, of course, homie. It, it's, it's definitely a, a, we were due, you know? <laughs> we were due. You've seen the transition. We're at a new place, man. That's why I say, oh, you got to come over yeah. here, brother. Anybody want to see that, the interview I did with, with uh, Gil, just scroll all the way down when he first started. <laughs> one of the first. Yeah, one of the, he went, you went to where I live, four hours away. So Hopeville. Yeah, and we drove out there, bro, because we, we wanted that interview, homie. Yeah. And that's what we're doing. And we're still doing it, man. I appreciate you guys tapping in today. Uh, we'll drop this one probably like Tuesday because everybody's watching football today, homeboy. Yeah. But uh, appreciate you guys, man. Shout out to my boy Sticks over here. Appreciate you. Much love, homie. There we go. We're out of here, Chris.